So this is what we're making. This is what we have so far from the previous video. And we just need to put this table in using these pictures. We have a table row that starts here and it ends here. Inside of the table row, we have two table data. Here's a table data. Here's a table data. We then go down and we have a table row here, starting here and ending here. And then we have a table data and a table data. I'm going to go ahead and put the red in a BR tag in the same table row. And I think, I mean, in the same table data, I think that'll be better. So. Uh, just go ahead and follow along with me here. I'm going to go to table, T-A-B-L-E. We have to put the T-R. That means we're going from left to right. Now we're going to start with the T-D. And in the first T-D, we need a picture. So we need an IMG space SRC equals. And we're going to put in that first Mario. We're going to end the T-D. Now after the picture of Mario, uh, there's actually words, as you can see right here. We're going to put a BR tag in the word red. So then we're going to put a BR tag, and then we're going to put in the word red. Red, like that. Oops, nope, sorry. Just red. So we have red, and now this is supposed to be red. I mean, the word red is supposed to be the color red, but as you can see, the border of the picture is also supposed to be red. So before we put in the picture, let's change the font color to red, and then we'll end the font color being red after we write the word red. So before the image, I'm going to type in font color equals, and we're going to make it red. So now the font color is red. We have an image source. We have a border. The border we're going to make maybe 10 pixels. And we have the BR. We have the word red. And we are going to end the font after that. So the word red, as you can see, here's the starting, and everything between this will be red. So the image border will be red, and the word red will be red. The only other thing we have to do is that in order for red, in order for red to be in the middle, we need to use a center tag. So right before this, after the TD, I'm going to write center. And there we go. That's the whole first line, except for that image source. Now, I'm going to go ahead and come over here. I'm going to click on this guy. I'm going to right click, save the image as. I'm going to go ahead and call it red, or you can call it something else. I'm going to call it red Mario. You can name it whatever you want to. I'm going to go down to my M drive on my web design folder. Red Mario, PNG here. OK, it's going to save it, and I've got it saved. So red Mario.png. Let's come over here and put in red Mario.png. Now, if I do that and save it, I should come over here, and I should see something that looks pretty good here. Aha! Mario, we have it red, and it says red here. Good. Now let's go ahead and do that a couple more times. I'm just going to copy this whole line here. Right click and copy. Come down here, paste it. Because I have it here. Now the next word is not supposed to be red. It's supposed to be green. So now let's make this one green. And we're going to make this green Mario.png, border is 10, and the color is not supposed to be red here, but in fact, green. So change that, save it, come over here, and you'll notice it won't work exactly because they don't have the picture of green Mario saved. So if I come and I save the picture of green Mario, save image as, I'm going to go ahead and call it green Mario. You can call it just green, whatever you want to. Save it. Come back here to our this guy and hit refresh. Now it works. Now you'll notice that in this example here, right here, the background here is actually white. Now how in the world did they do that? Well, let's go ahead and talk about it. Um, in the table tag, we can put BG color equals white. This is going to make the entire BG color of the table white. Now I need to end my TR, and then later on I'm going to end my table. But I need to put all of this, I'm actually going to copy it, and put that here. So here's the end of the table, and everything behind the table will be white. So let's go ahead and see what that looks like. As you can see, it's now white behind it. Um, and uh, you're well on your way. Just change this out. And uh, I got one more thing to show you in the next video, just cell padding, and that'll do us.